Let's do it. Hello guys and girls, welcome back to another fun episode. Uh, my name is Tom Dyer and this is Jean-Marc Bautier. How you doing Jean-Marc? I'm good. Fantastic. Jean-Marc is the recent and second time French champion. Uh, and today, uh, Jean-Marc is going to show us five, yes, five, one, two, three, four, five paws which you can use behind the bar, yeah, on stage, or wherever you want to, basically, yeah. Of course. Um, and as before, and as in any other video, if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing because you're going to get loads more videos like this from special people from all over the world. Uh, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'm sure Jean-Marc will appreciate it. Of so will I. So fantastic. Okay, so without further ado, let's get on to these five pours. Okay, John Mark, over to you. First one. Tell me if I'm wrong. Is the fact that your your hands are crossing over, and you're yeah. actually you as you throw it, you're catching it. Do it again, like this. So it's like a simple. Yeah. So when you throw, but you just cross your right arm like this. Mm -hmm. and like this. So okay. So you've got to keep your yeah. your, your like wrist this. in here. Yeah. So I'd recommend that when you're practicing, get rid of the bottle and just. Practice this first, of course, in river sport. Boom, I like it, like it. Step one, maybe maybe start with just learning to do a shadow left hand shadow pass. Step two, put your hand yeah. in here. And then step three, grab the bottle in river sport. And then reverse pour. Boom! I like this one, this is a good move. Now show us the second pour. Left hand, full board working flare bottle, okay, tin, and you will throw your tin in one spin, making a lime shade on the bottle. Making a lime shade on the bottle. So your tin is open like this, you mm -hmm. make one spin and you will receive it to the lime shades. Uh, and after you just have to come, grab the tin and come back to the bottle. I think the trick with this one is 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 learning to do is learning to do that lampshade. Yeah. All right. Because I remember when I first started, I was trying to get just like a normal lampshade, and I struggled really hard. Now, when you start to throw something behind your head and you're getting that noise, it's quite scary. So, exactly what you said. You're learning to to throw something behind your head first. And then you need to put the two, two and two together. But do you have a tip? It's like the same way when you are making, for example, you know, the tin behind the head from the right to the left. So use your left hand and follow the tin. So it's gonna be easier for you. It's like when you're grabbing the bottle, when I make it, boom, gotcha. I follow. I follow the tin at the same time with the bottle. So, so let me just let me just have a go as well. Super easy, huh? Not really. Yeah. 
nicer. It's very true that if you, like you said, if you follow it, as you throw it up, if you follow the bottle, the tin, you don't necessarily see the catch, but it just kind of sits on top of the bottle there. Yeah. Yeah, I think the other thing as well is if you're, if you're gonna start practicing with a bottle like this, it will essentially be easier because you easier because you won't have that pour spout on the top. So when you do come to a, a full bottle with a pour spout, sometimes it's going to hit that pour spout, yeah. right? So just take that into consideration that when you're doing the move, bring the bottle a little bit further back because you're going to have that little bit of an extension from the pour spout on the end of the bottle. Yeah, correct. Totally right. Boom. All right, two down, three to go. Uh, number three. Number three. So. Behind the back. Behind you. So, yo, I, I make the composition of the move. So it's gonna be this move, okay, on the back, and this throw with the bottle on the left hand, okay. So you have to make to the left on the back. So first practice with this move, okay. And after this one, left to left, like this. And after you are some, you put those two moves together. One, two, three. Oh. <laughs> uh -huh. Let's go. Look at that. But it's just throwing your teeth. This okay. is smart. And after making the two moves together, this is this is very smart. This is what exactly that. Learning to get that lampshade first, and then working towards. The, the throws together, but try it out. Let us know what you think. If you have any uh, like other questions about this move, just put it in the comments box below, and then I'll have a chat with Jean-Marc, and we can get back to you on how we can help you further. This is a, a super difficult move, okay? Now, the guys have been asking for difficult and advanced moves. This is a very advanced move. Moving on to number four, Jean-Marc, here we go. Grab the chin, okay, reverse, you grab the button in the speed rail, the button in the speed rail, okay, chin is grabbed with those two fingers, okay, and you grab the chin. So you, we can make like the chin is going up through the ends and we're gonna change, you see, I release the chin first, like that, on the other side. <laughs> First to practice, so normally the wall move is like this, okay, and I make the pull. To practice first, what you can make, you grab the team like this, okay, yeah. and you just make one spin to grab it. Oh, okay, like cool, cool, cool. And start yeah. changing, opening, okay? So this is the first step, okay? After with the bottle, normally, so you grab it, you grab it just over here, the neck, with your middle finger and your index, like that. You are making a piece on the opposite side, okay? Like that, so. Ah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. You make just this, and you change the ground. Get it. It's to get back to the beer ground, okay? So, and after you can make your reverse pull. Okay, so, in the move, so you're gonna get the first one, boom, then back to reverse and after you pull. Okay, I got this. Okay, so you do it together. Yeah. Yes, totally. Nice. Right. This is a cool move as well, because I'm sure that you guys are gonna... I'm sure that you guys are gonna be able to pick this up very quickly. Oh shit. It's about making sure that you know your fingers are strong enough to be able to manipulate these objects boom there you go uh, yeah. can you show me more easy moves then i can do them yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay now we're moving on to the fifth and final pour of our five pours from mr john mark portier um excuse my french accent so uh okay show us that move one more time please boom you see he's crossing he's crossing his arms over again there's a lot of arms crossing there. So, you will release first the small team, making one spin, like that. And after, you have to go up, turn in your wrists to make one spin and take it this to the part, next. This part is really difficult, I think, because it's a quick, as you do the split, you've got to get underneath to grab that big tin, uh, sorry, the small tin, 
to catch the big tin on top. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. When you've done there, do you have your finger here? Yeah. So you need to give space between the small tin and the big tin to get uh, to release it easier, uh, easier. Exactly. Okay. So once you've thrown it over and you've caught it on there, instead of landing like this and trying to do the move, they'll stick together. So you have your other finger, your index finger yeah. here to hold that tin loose. So you can do the next part of the move. Mm -hmm. But after you will use in these parts, you will cross it between the small tin and the big tin, like this. Okay. So first step. Two. Two. Boom! After you make it with your rock with your bottom. <laughs> First step, like this, practice this move, after, like this, crossing, and after you take the bottom. One, and four, in reverse with the left hand. Huh? I hope you're fat enough over as well. Huh? Okay, so. You wanna try it? Huh? You wanna try it? Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Put this on the montage of five minutes. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> I've got to land this now. Because otherwise, Juan Ho will take the piss out of me and John Mark and everyone else over here watching. Here we go. Okay. Yeah! Super awesome. Okay. Five pours which you can use behind the bar, on stage, in a show. Try not to copy if you're going to a competition, but learn these moves, develop them, get the ideas, get inspiration. Um, and again, if you have any questions about any of these moves we've shown you today, just put it in the comments box below and we can get back to you. Okay, there is no, no, there is, there is no such thing as a stupid question, okay? But uh, John Mark, thank you very, very much for doing this. I've been no worries at all, and congratulations on your French Championship once again. Fingers crossed for the third time in 2019. Hope so. I hope so too. Uh, is there anything else you want to say to these lovely people? There is a lot of stuff to learn, and sharing is caring. Don't forget that. Sharing. See you soon, guys. Fantastic. Thanks again. Cheers. Au revoir. Until next time, we'll see you then. Mm. We're going to make some magic. That's what we're going to do. Woo! Woo! Ha 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 